introducing the world's fittest mum. Cara Look Saunders. at that position. Oh, goodness. She seems I so love upright. This. She is a beast. She is really strong. Cara Saunders is doing this event at about 2 a.m. local time for her. Maybe working out at 2 in the morning or competing is great for Cara because she's sitting in first place overall after three scored events. I mean, you can't do that. I'm tired of watching it. Duh. Didn't look that heavy, did it? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It was um, Brisbane super mum Cara Saunders competing in an invite-only CrossFit competition <sighs> for the 20 fittest athletes in the world. Coronavirus Amazing. restrictions meant the US-based competition was held virtually, forcing Cara to compete uh, through the middle of the night, stopping only to breastfeed her one-year-old daughter in between events. <laughs> the absolute legend placed third overall and joins us now from her home in Kalinga in Brisbane alongside her adorable baby Scotty. Hey! hey! <laughs> um, you have been dubbed the fittest mum in the world. What an achievement. How did it all unfold for you? Oh gosh, it was, um, look, it was something different, um, you know, not exactly what I'm used to in the way of competition, um, but, you know, I had the opportunity to still participate after I've been training incredibly hard in my backyard, so I couldn't say no, um, and I thought I would just do the best that I could with what I had, and it was an amazing competition, and I did better than I expected. <laughs> Woo! How gorgeous as little Scotty. She's yeah. awake this morning. Um, you know what I find amazing? Um, you took, <laughs> I think you took like just two months off, didn't you, when you had Scotty. How hard was it then to get ready for competition and to look as good as you do? Uh, you know what? Nothing short of the hardest thing I think I've ever done. Mm. It, um... The, the one thing that worked in my favour is that I have been an athlete for a really, really long time and I understand um, the importance of movement and so I just took my time. I, um, I enjoyed being a mum and then I just started moving fairly intuitively as it felt right and um, used the experience that I've had in competition and yeah, t took the expectations away and just slowly worked my way back up. Um, fitness was hard, strength is incredibly hard, um, and then obviously being a mum and fitting in, breastfeeding and, you know, getting up in the night was incredibly hard. But you know what, if it's what you love <laughs> and it's good for you, you'll find a way. Is she looking at a photo of me? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a big N.O. Oh, she's so cute. Big N.O. Yeah. Hey, listen, the biggest thing that mums always say, and, and it's it's 100% correct, is that I can't find the time. I mean, how, how, do you, how do you manage to fit it all in? Uh, it's important to me. Uh, it's really, really important to me. And uh, I just include her in everything that I do. So, you know, sometimes I train when she's asleep. Um, sometimes I need to sleep and have a rest and she's just doing it with me. And training doesn't look like it once did. It has to be a little bit different and um, it's inclusive of a small person. So I have to stop and start a lot and just do the best I can um, where I can. And, you know, I always think that something is better than nothing. So, um, yeah, I just try and interact with her while we're doing it. And I want to be the best example wow. for her. I want her to think that physical activity and working hard is normal. So, um, yeah, we just make it work. She's just there every step of the way, just as my little shadow, and I wouldn't oh. have it any other way. What a great wow. role model you are. We're just looking at little shots there, too, of um, Scotty doing um, pull-ups. Um, she can do more than Carl. Yeah, yeah. no, 100%. <laughs> what are you going to do next? Because I know a Brisbane girl beat, uh, came up on top of uh, the field. Um, what are you going to do next with all this strength? <laughs> oh, you know what? I've got to put it somewhere, don't I? Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, we're looking to still run the international competition. Apologies for that. That's um, right. <laughs> no, um, we're still looking to run the international competition um, at the end of August okay. in America, potentially. Um, but that's all dependent, obviously, on the current climate. So at the moment, I'm just going to train really hard with the option of being there and hopefully being able to throw down against the best in the world in better conditions. And then if it gets put back, I'll just keep training and I'll be there. Um, 
I'll, um, hey, I'll be Scotty. there when it's back up and running. <laughs> yeah, that, this is, that this is a juggle. Works. This is the one-year-old juggle. Hey, hey. Kara, congratulations coming in third. And, of course, another great, great Brisbane girl, Tia Claire Toomey, um, won the competition. So big congratulations to her this morning too. Um, and Scotty, I think she's going to be our next totally. CrossFit champion. Yeah, or she's going to sure. be on The Voice. <laughs> She'll be right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, I think we're done. Oh, cute. <laughs> How amazing. Just oh, I love cute. stories like that. What an extraordinary woman. It's a lot, isn't it? Uh, mm. So strong.